Many red light therapy devices claim that they can penetrate deep into your tissues, affecting things like your joints, your nerves, and even your brain. But how is this possible if light can only penetrate a couple of centimeters into your tissues? Are they lying to you? In this video, we're gonna be unpacking how far red light therapy really penetrates into your tissues and whether it can affect things such as your brain and your organs. So when we look at the physics of the type of light that comes from red light therapy devices, specifically red and near infrared, red light only penetrates one to two centimeters and near infrared at best is two to five centimeters. So how does it make any sense? How are we seeing clinical studies where things like joint pain are relieved? How are nerve related issues, neuropathies, how can these be affected by red near infrared light? Even our gut health has been shown to be improved with red light therapy. So how would this make any sense? Well, it's important to look at it both from a physics point of view as well as a biological point of view. Physics says that red light therapy will only penetrate two to five centimeters, but you are a biological being, a system, so to speak. And it's important to look at the difference between the physical depth of penetration and the biological depth of penetration. So there was a study published in the journal of selected topics in quantum electrons. And this was by a well-known researcher, Dr. Michael Hamblin, very well respected in the red light therapy space. And he talks about the systemic effects of red light therapy. And he talks about the cellular communication. So how our cells are communicating with each other and through inflammatory marker reduction, the cells are able to essentially tell each other that they are in a less stressful environment. He also talks about the ability of red light therapy to increase stem cell production. And stem cells are undifferentiated cells which can go to another area of concern where there might be some more inflammation or there might be some tissue damage. And these stem cells can then help to repair those tissues. Another simple explanation for this is that we know the main mechanism of how red light therapy works is by increasing cellular energy, also known as ATP. And it is nothing new that the cells can pass ATP between each other. There's a study from 1981 that was titled, Does ATP Cross the Cell Plasma Membrane? And already then we knew that the cells can share this energy with each other. So even the first two to five centimeters of cells, which are producing more ATP, they can then pass that on and share that with nearby cells. This is very similar to what happens with a lot of professional athletes, where they will go back to their hometown and then support it. James LeBron, as an example, he started the LeBron Family Foundation. And back in his hometown, Akron, Ohio, he has set up a foundation that now builds schools and medical facility as well as housing. So yes, although we look at it from a physical point of view and say red light therapy can only penetrate two to five centimeters, you are a biological being and the other cells in your body will benefit from red light therapy. Now, something to be aware of is that most red light therapy companies are not talking about these things because they don't wanna compare their devices to the ones used in the clinical studies. There's a trend happening at the moment where a lot of home devices are nothing like the ones used in these clinical studies. And what ends up happening is this leaves a lot of people frustrated and also essentially just wasting their money. So if you want to make sure that you get a product that is not going to be a waste of your money and that actually has transparent specifications, matches up with the clinical studies, then check out the MyLight range from Mychondria. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. And if you have any questions from today's video, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Otherwise, I hope that you have a great day further and we'll chat again soon. Cheers.